Over there. I've been on Rayburn. You any good? Copy. <laughs> Alrighty, fishing freaks, welcome on back to the channel. We are giving it a dangle again over in ET, but today we got a 2v2 going on, and today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you're looking to grow your tackle arsenal, MTB is the best way to do it, and you're going to pay a lot less than you would in the stores. I've been partnered with MTB for years. They are a great partner, and they also make the perfect gift for the fishermen in your circle. And after all these years, I'm still surprised by all the new tackle that I see in the boxes every month. They have tons of connections in the tackle world now. In every box, you're getting a great mix of hard baits, soft plastics, terminal tackle, and you're even getting Guggen Squad hard baits and plastics in there, so it is juicy. They have boxes for everybody, whether you're a beginning fisherman or you're looking for that next level elite box, and they have different species boxes as well, so they've got you covered. So for as little as 20 bucks a month, you get tons of new baits, brand name lures delivered straight to your door. So get started with your first mystery tackle box. The link is down in the description, guys. Use my code MONDO and you will save $10 off your first box. That is M-O-N-D-O. Thanks, MTB, for sponsoring today's video. Now on with the show. So this is actually our third leg of our ET journey. I'm finally feeling better. And we are leaving Sam Raymond behind. We're heading back to Big D and we're going to hit up a lake on our way back. So you may run into the situation that we have in today's video where you get a big dump of rain, spring, spring rains, they bring the wind, they bring the rain, and they muddy up the water. So we're dealing with severely stained, if not muddy water today, a lot of wind, and uh, that really just leaves us with going to the bank. So here you go. We got, well, is it a competition? Is it a friendly comp? I think it's a little friendly comp. You want to do best three? We got scales. I got scales. I got scales. Best three fish? I'm good with that. Something. If you guys get on something serious, let us know. We'll, we'll do the same. Yeah. The losers lose. We just, we just really, it's time for Matt to catch a 10. I mean, everybody else in the group has been catching 10s this year. I mean, you might be in the wrong Close boat, to it. Man. Hey, he's, got a, he's got a legit shot out here. Wyatt, how many tens have you seen out of this lake in the last two months? At least five. At least five. Like you've personally been involved. What's that? You've personally been involved. Been involved with three. There's a share lunker caught that was registered uh, the same the same week or like the week before. So this is, a, this is day three. We're out here in ET. I usually do this every year. If we've been we've been hammering on them crappie, but today. Left the crappie sticks in the truck. No, you just left them in my boat. You just left, you left them. Yeah, they're in your boat, right so it won't be a distraction for me. I'm going. I'm going meat and potatoes, vibe jigs, lipless cranks, spinner jump. bugs, all, right, let's go. all that fun stuff you do March, April, out here in ET, getting that grass and just wind and grind for big fish. So that's what we're going to be doing. I get jump on track. Trying to get that jump. I mean. Some sort of advantage. It's only fair. Why it's hammer out here? All right, so we got the. I don't know any of the two holes. got the shaman and Matt heading out. Why? What's the, what's the deal out here? Like, what do you think? Here's what do you the think deal, is man. the deal? Here's the deal. There was a lot of offshore. I say offshore mid depth stuff, pre spawners, staging areas. That was doing great offshore. We had a big storm roll through. Lake came up, muddy water, rising water, and mud always means, especially in March, they're gonna push shallow. So I'm with Wyatt. I think it's gonna be shallow, beat the bank. Hopefully, they're gonna be feeding today because it's windy. See the pines? It's doing more than whispering today. It's screaming pines. And uh, last two days have been like sunny, high pressure. Today's a big bass feeding day. Let's go. Woo. 
it's blowing a little bit. A little bit of a blow here today. How did how, what So when I say go into the bank, really in this case, we're talking about the dirt because the fish are going to sometimes move up into the, the newest, freshest water that they can, that has cover, that has nutrients. The shad will often uh, move up into these areas. You'll see they'll, they'll feed on uh, all this new uh, little stuff that's coming into the water. The bluegill will do the same thing. And in turn, the bass will go up there and feed on those uh, bait fish. So this is pretty murky compared to usual. Oh, man. I... I remember we were... Oh, there you go. Little buddy on the point. Skinny, oh my God. He's sick. Mally. Ain't blind as a bat. God, that's a bad one there. Poor dude. Probably won't make it very long. Somebody put him in the skillet. <laughs> won't make it very long out here in the life, out here in the land of the giant. Under the water, we have some sparse hydrilla, some milfoil, and there's lily pad stems, and that is really the key. I've seen this for years and years and years now, probably 10 years of bass fishing during this time of year and in the fall where the lily pad stems are really key because they're, I'm not sure whether they're making the hard bottom or they just grow around hard bottoms, but bass really like that. Uh, especially when things are, you know, silty. They don't like real silty uh, type conditions. So um, those lily pad stems, that just means that's, uh, well, it's number one, it's, it's cover they can relate to and also harder bottom. So fishing around oh. those oh gosh. be I really productive in the spring good. and in the fall. We gotta get a weight on her. Just in case. That's gonna be round four. God, that fish looks bad. Dude, right on the roof. Look, how, look how all the red marks are on that fish. 396 recorded. First weighable fish. Here's the big key with fishing in severely stained or muddy water conditions. You gotta hit your target, uh, or you gotta know where some targets are, and you gotta run that lure past it maybe multiple times. The fish might not even see it the first time, but the, it's kind of a catch-22, because they're gonna hold tighter to cover, so you know it's, it makes them more predictable where they're going to be, but also you gotta make some good casts and really present your bait by that cover. I don't really have a good a little crawl trailer or something. Things that are going to put out a big presence in the stained muddy water, that's going to be your, your spinner baits that thump really good. You've got your vibe jigs. Uh, you've got you know, lipless crank baits. Sometimes though, cause those can be a little fast. So your crank baits, things that make rattles, move a lot of water, uh, or any sort of plastic that's got, um, this is when you want to use your big, chunky, moving trailers that uh, put out a lot of water dispersion and even have rattles in it. So that would be the time is during these conditions. Oh! Scale at. It was a little light. I don't know why. You don't think four. That's why you wanted to call it four, to be honest. 
Yeah. <laughs> a little light. These fish are beat up. What, five and 390? I'm called 385. 385? 385 is fair. 396, 385. 396, 385. Basically, two four pounders. Just round up a hair. How's it going, Matt? You caught one on that center bug yet, or what? Huh? Has he caught one on that center bait yet? He caught two on it. No kidding. <laughs> I, I, it's a perfect, perfect condition for it. We've got all of all ours, man. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is, uh, this is how we do it right here. Y'all got any decent ones or what? No. Y'all got any good ones? We got a little something. A couple decents. Nothing crazy. What do you have? A two that's right under four. Like a 396 and a three. Well, we got a 972 too, but other than that, no, that's crazy. Derp status right now, sitting pretty. Couple of sub fours. One little, I, don't, I can't remember how big the other one was, but uh, I know we're doing better than the other team. And it is just straight up bank fishing. Key though, these little lily pads that are submerged right now because the water's come up but those hard stems they usually provide a little hard bottom something for fish relate to and you know, sometimes they get on pretty good and that little vibe jig spinner bait stuff like that that'll get through there swim jig good choices put the merc down what's the what's the phrase for the mercury yamaha's put the hammer down mercury I don't even know. on the water what is it is it on the water Something's out of the water. I bet they. Mercury. Metal, Stir sh <laughs> up. <laughs> you know? Oh God! Mm -mm. Oh, dude, crushed. Decent. Got him? Yeah. He's got it down. I got the net right there. Might have it on the line, yeah. I'll break the line if I try to lift him. Just like that other one. Get him. Okay, he's got that. Oh! Yeah, that thing down is going to Damn. Look at that. Down the hatch. Dude, he came at you. I know. I was like, dude, this is gonna be he it's gonna be a dime. Didn't he? It was just like that last one. It was probably like 15 feet out. Hey. Should be a three pounder. Oh. You're gonna be bouncing up and down, dude. Is that is that really a four pounder? Oh yeah. Four, two. That's a long fish right there. We, we Ain't me good. <laughs> it's like we're in a tornado. Fish is a sail. Third decent fish captured. 
just over four pounds, it's giving us about a 12 pound average on our three fish. I think me and Wyatt got this thing, but uh, you know, you know, you know those boys, and they're liable to pull some stuff out of their rear. You know, get lucky. So we'll see. This is Texas in March. Anything can happen. But uh, man, this wind sucks. Uh, pretty much the only thing you can throw is is like a moving bait. You know, spinner bait, vibe jig, lipless, up in the grass, and uh, you know, just just hope you get through the stuff and uh, don't get blown over. You just wait for the fish to latch on. That's it. That's pretty much it. You boys on a little program over here? Swim bait action going. A little swim bait action? I love chatterbugs. Swim bait action, sure. <laughs> All right, you got any mondos? What do you consider a mondo? Like over five? You got a five. five. Okay. Uh oh. Might have a little ball game. Uh, we got we got another one similar size. 12 pounds, probably. Yeah. 12? Yeah. Oh, boy. It's be close, kids. We got a tight race? It's going be close. It's be a tight race. We've had some upgrades. Hee-hoo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm intrigued. What do you want to call this thing? That's, I, what, that's what I was coming to ask you. What time is it? Party 2? You know, we got we got to drive home and all that stuff. Yeah, I know. I and mean, we got to get up and do this all over again tomorrow. I know. I'm good calling it. I'm kind of interested to see what we got now. All right, we'll do our little calculation. We're going to see who the winner is. Wish we had a camera in the other boat to see see that upgrade action. 1203. 1203. Wow. 1203. Pretty much 12 on the dot. Uh, 10.30. Well, well, well. <laughs> what was your biggest bet? Four pounds. It was a 420 something. Yeah. But four, we, had, we, had a three, we had a 396 and a 385. So you basically had a five and some. Pretty good. Pretty good, but not good enough. Quiet, you're an, you're an aspiring pro. You're BFL Angler of the Year. Yeah, man. So this is what you do every day. Yeah. So it was just another day. But for me, it was good. So yeah, yeah, man, I had a great time. It was a blast. Four pounders. Four pounders, no Can't giants see. like this lake's got, you know. No true representation of the giants it has. But hey, just went through some drastic changes out of here, so we deal with good. Can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. Good day. Just a friendly competition today, but it always feels good to get that dub. It means less trash talking I have to put up with during the rest of the season. Thank you guys for tuning in to today's 2v2 bass fishing competition. Uh, if you want to see the previous two videos in the series, they're just the, the two previous videos in the library. This is an incredible time to be out on the water. You could catch the biggest fish of your life. Get out there, give it a dangle. God bless you in the great outdoors. Godspeed and I'll see you on the next one.